Hello everyone. Today we will show you a common problem in VLOOKUP or in all kind of lookup. So this is a problem. We are having a list of values that we want to perform VLOOKUP. We want to find the corresponding location from this lookup table. What we do? We look up of course, what else? Okay, so we start typing the formula here. We look up. This is the value I want to look up. Okay, and this is the table array, which is my lookup table. And then the column to return is number two in this scenario. We want to return the location of the room number 101. And we want the exact match, okay? Exact match, which is false. However, the result return is error, not available. If I copy down the formula, oh, interesting, I have some value that is returning the correct answer, but in some, they don't. The reason is simple, because the value, the lookup value here, 101, let's have a look. This is a number stored as test. That means the lookup value here is a test. However, in our lookup table here, 101 is a value, it's a numeric number. 101. That's why we look up or other lookup function doesn't find the match because of the inconsistent data type here. So you may wonder how to fix it. We have to convert the lookup table here, the lookup key here into test. So the first thing in my mind or in your mind should be okay, I just turn the format into test to fix the problem. However, it doesn't work. Why it doesn't work? Apparently, it is a test, but let's test whether it is a test or not by using the function is test. Well, this is still not a test. You may be wondering why we have already converted the format into test. Remember, if you want to input something as test, you have to first set the format to test and then start typing the number here. Then whatever you input here will be recorded as test. However, if we are doing the same thing in the incorrect order, we input the value first, okay? Whatever, just input something. And then we turn it into test format afterward. It doesn't work. You just change the format, but the value here, you have already input box numeric. What happens is when you click inside and then enter again, because the format of that cell was already formatted as test. So wherever you input from that moment will be stored as test. That is the minor differences. How we do the same thing in the correct order or incorrect order make a big difference. Remember that. For the same token, if we try to go into the 101 here, go into the formula bar, enter, we successfully convert that into a test. So you may be wonder, oh, uh, are we going to do that one by one manually? Okay, if we are talking about this less than 10 volts of data, maybe this is one of the solutions you may consider. I'm just kidding. Never do that. Never do that, please. Never do that. Let's do it with formula approach. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, let's start with something simple, with a helper column. We know the problem. The problem is we don't have a consistent data type here. The data here, some of them are test, some of them are value, numeric. So I want to make them consistent. I want to convert everything here into test. The function we can use is trim. By using trim, technically, 
all the result returned will be converted into test. Now with this helper column converting all the values here into test, we can set up the VLOOKUP formula easily. Just one thing to remember is now the lookup table start in this helper columns and we have to count carefully the corresponding location or the columns index that we want to return. In this case, the location now is the third columns. So if we have to input three here, we want the exact match. There we go. Wow, let's copy it then. If we want to convert, uh, if we want to return the information on a second columns, we can do so by changing it to the corresponding column, which is four in this scenario. There we go. We have the solution. We have a simple fix. We can then hide the helper columns afterward. Second approach is not using the helper columns. In some cases, we do not want to insert anything in our lookup table. We may not be able to. So what can we do? Here, we have fixed the formula. We just have to modify the formula a little bit. So let me start with the incorrect formula first. Traditional VLOOKUP. This is the lookup value. And this is the lookup array. That is our lookup table. And the column index will be number two in this scenario. Again, I want exact match. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. This is expected. But we can make it work by using a simple trick of using the chim function here. But we will insert the chim function in front of the lookup table. Technically, we trim everything in the lookup table. That means we are turning everything in this range G5 to I15 into test. There we go. We have the result. Super easy, isn't it? But there is limitation. What is the limitation? Let me show you. How about I want to return the rent here? which is the third column. I have 100 returned. I have 100 returned. And then I copy it and I have all the corresponding value returned. But the problem is the returned value, they are all test. As a result, I cannot perform a simple summation like this. It returns zero because all the value on top, they are test, they are not value. So a quick fix is, is also very easy. Let me copy this formula to the next column here. I just need to add a double negative here, two negative, okay? One, two, two negative here. I convert the value into number, into numeric again. So the quick fix is if you are expecting to return value as numeric, put double negative in front of VLOOKUP. There are many different approach of converting the number store as test into a number. You can check about this post. How about if you are using Microsoft 365, if you have the X lookup function, let's do the X lookup. Okay, XLOOKUP is much, much better than VLOOKUP if you are not aware of the next lookup. XLOOKUP should be replacing VLOOKUP in the future, but in the future, not now, because majority of the Excel user, especially in the business world, they are still using an Excel version without XLOOKUP. Anyway, just to show you what we can do it with XLOOKUP. Okay, XLOOKUP with the lookup value here and the lookup array. We do not input a lookup table. We input the lookup array here. Okay. And we need to do the same trick. We wrap the lookup array with trimmed so that all the value 
within this lookup array will be will be converted into test value. And we then identify the return array here. Okay, I want to lock everything but the column. Okay. And as simple as that. I can copy it down and copy it to the right. Amazing, isn't it? Very simple construction of the lookup function. X lookup. Next explore it. If you are not having X lookup, I heard it. We can actually do it with index and match. Index and match is a very good alternative to relookup in this scenario. Okay, let me start to write the formula again from the very beginning. So for index and match, we start with index first. And the array is the result that we want to return. In this scenario, is the location. So I'm going to lock by pressing F4 again. So I have the row absolute, the column relative. Then I using I'm using match to find the local value. So this is my local value. I also want to lock the column. And where is my lookup array? Here is my lookup array. Remember, we need the same trick using trim here to convert all the lookup value here into test so that we are looking for test from a test. Okay, the match type is zero. We won't accept match. There we go. We have solved the problem using index and match and see it is very, very easy to copy it down and copy it to the right and to return the correct answer. This is perfect. Mm -hmm.